Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at one of Vio's latest products, just getting ready to be released here in the U.S. Recently, I unboxed uh, the SX14, which of course Vio furnished me with, a great business machine that I'm really enjoying using. Of course, my uh, update as well as full review is in the works. We'll get there with time, but again, today's video is all about Vio re-entering the ultra mobile PC market. Now, for those of you that remember once upon a time when Vio was a Sony company, they introduced the picture book and that dates back to, I think around 1998, 1999. The US release was about a year after. And finally, 20 years later, we have a new picture book. So without further ado, let's get right down to it. You can see right there what appears to be the picture book, I'm assuming. Again, this is the first time I'm seeing it, same as you. And I have a lot. I'm very excited about this because believe it or not, the picture book was my first laptop. And there it is. And if you haven't already realized it, this looks a lot like the original. Almost identical. Um, which is interesting because... Uh, again, this is an anniversary edition product. Sony, no longer part of the, you know, picture, not trying to be cute, but still, uh, you know, Vio does own those patents and they're trying to honor the original form. Uh, this, believe it or not, weighs roughly the same as the brand new SX14. And again, it looks a lot like the original picture book, but I can assure you it is very different. So in terms of specifications, let me go ahead. Actually, before I even unlock this and show you what this little 8-inch beast is all about, let me sh show you some of the modular accessories. Because again, this is all about being able to take your work with you anywhere. And for those of you who aren't interested in tablets, this is probably the machine that you're going to have an interest in because it really does offer just about everything in the most compact form. And again, it's a throwback to the original. I mean, that's why it even has the Sony branding. Because remember, Sony still does have an, own, an ownership stake in Vio, even though it was spun off, the computer business. So first and foremost, you do have the ability to pick up an extended battery, which Vio was kind enough to furnish me with. You also have, and I'm not sure on retail pricing, so I'm not going to give you any pricing. This has not been released in the States yet. Uh, the included charger... And this is only a demo product. You have to remember that. This has not been released to the U.S. market yet. We have the um, charger right here. Regular wall charger, from what I've heard. Fairly fast. Can charge this entire machine in less than one hour. So, for those of you looking for Type-C, don't worry about it. I mean, even though you got to carry a separate charger, no big deal. We also have, um, you know, a traditional display adapter port. So, that's another very good thing. Uh, for those of you that saw my SX14, you saw that VGA is still on board. Vio hasn't forgotten that here with the brand new 20th edition uh, or anniversary edition picture book. Uh, we also have included um, a modular disk drive. So just in case, you know, you want wanted to have some fun. I mean, this is part of Vio again and Sony coming together. To basically remind us all life is short, floppy disk drives, I mean, this comes free from what I've read. They're not going to actually charge for this component. But if you are looking to go the distance, if you really want the piece de resistance for your picture book, you will have to step up and spend some extra cash for, I'm trying to bring it here, for the actual Blu-ray drive, 4K capable, that's correct, you heard right. Of course, none of this could be fit into the picture book. Its form factor is simply too compact to accommodate all of this. And then there are additional components and accessories. Um, but without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what this beast looks like. So again, you're going to notice immediately that it looks a lot like the original. I mean, even down to using the pointer for the mouse, uh, the rotating... Uh, camera on board, webcam, it all looks exactly like the original. And that's because, um, if you haven't noticed, it is. There you have it. You are looking 
if I can bring it into focus, at the VIO uh, C1X. This is Sony's first Ultrabook. And in my opinion, this, this again, this is my first laptop. So for those of you that have taken this seriously so far, yes, today is April 1st. Um, I still have it, believe it or not. Uh, this was in storage. So of all the things that didn't get destroyed, my first Ultra Portable did not. And I was happy for that because I do have some great memories of this, uh, you know, back in the day. Um, it was fun to use. Of course, they got rid of the, the rotating camera feature for obvious reasons. Uh, having a dedicated capture button here was always a cool thing, but it really did shape the market for what was to come in the ultra mobile space. Because at the time, a lot of people laughed at this product that, you know, it had a, a regular dial-up jack, had to get an Ethernet port adapter, but they laughed at it because they looked at it like, boy, this machine has been totally stripped. There are no, you know, there's nothing on board, no disk drive, no, uh, no CD-ROM drive. You know, you have a USB port, FireWire, S200 port, headphone, speaker, you know, jack, three and a half mil jacks, and that's it. And of course, the ability to use that uh, flash slot for different accessories. And of course, the 56K uh, dial up right here. But the truth of the matter is, this is the direction things went. And just to refresh everyone's memory here quickly, uh, what you're looking at here uh, in the PC G C1X was an Intel 266 megahertz CPU with an 8 gig hard drive. Uh, it had, I believe, 64 megabytes of RAM and um, Windows 98. Delicious. At any rate, uh, that pretty much rounds things out. Yes, the battery on board is the original. Everything I just showed you is original. I'm glad I still have it. Is it worth anything? No. Do I wish Sony, aka now Vio, would revive a product like this? Absolutely. They did come out with you know, several revisions in the past, but nothing, uh, in my opinion, really um, embodies, encapsulates the tech advancements we have today. And I wish Vio would bring something like this back. But then again, I wish Vio would bring back uh, my Canvas, uh, the Canvas Z. So, and right now, as far as I know, that's not going to be making an appearance anytime soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little goof, little gag. I don't really do these too often. But, you know, if you've got a picture book that's 20 years old and it's the 20th anniversary, what the hell? Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.